Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and Merry Christmas. It is Christmas Day and I am filming this in between a couple family events, but I thought that I would get this out there for all of you. Um, this is my what I got for Christmas video and I'm super excited to do this because it's kind of become I think a little bit of a YouTube tradition. Uh, everybody does them every year and I think it's fun to kind of share what you get. So. Keep in mind this is not bragging or anything like that. This is just me sharing what I was blessed enough to receive. And also I thought I would share with you, I am wearing my festive Christmas reindeer sweater. I think it's pretty awesome, but let's get started. So you may know that I just recently redecorated my house. So my mom was nice enough to get me a couple things for my kitchen because it was kind of the last room that needed a few finishing touches. And the first thing she got is this super adorable little elephant. It's like a creamer for a coffee. I have an elephant teapot that matches this and I just think it's so cute. I collect elephants. I have one back here and I just love elephants. So this was so cool and I'm so excited about this. I drink a lot of coffee and I have a lot of like friends over for tea so this is perfect. Then she decided to get me a couple things that kind of worked with the French theme that I have going on in my kitchen and the first one is this gorgeous cake stand here which I think is so cute. It's kind of like a sea foamy greeny blue color. It has this gorgeous like scallop detail and I love it and I actually think I'm going to use it to keep like my soaps and things on in the kitchen. So I think it's so cute and it's a fun way to kind of jazz things up. The last thing that she got me is this stunning cookie jar or bonbon jar and it's kind of mercury glass and has like a little Parisian theme so it goes perfectly in my kitchen and it's so massive so it'll be really good for like cookies or whatever I want to keep in there but I love it it goes perfectly with all the mercury glass that I have in my apartment and French theme so I'm so excited about this and my best friend Heather kind of went along the same theme of getting me things that will spice up my apartment or fun things to kind of decorate with because she knows that I love fun girly glittery things and all that sort of stuff. So she ended up getting me these really cool magnetic bookmarks. They're like little magnets that fold over a page in a book which is awesome because I love to read and I tend to like fold down the pages on books which is awful. So this is a really great thing and they're cute. They're like lips and shoes. And then she also found these and I think they'll be so cute in my kitchen. They say I love home and they have kind of like that chalkboardy feel. And it's such a cute little penguin clip. I love these. They're so cute. They're definitely going to go on my coffee bar. And then she also got me this super cute kind of gold polka dotted um, notepad with like a little champagne glass. And she knows me so well. She knows that I am a massive list maker. I always have notepads on hand and I can never have enough of them. And I love anything gold and white. So she pretty much got me in a nutshell. <laughs> and the last like home thing that she got for me is this amazing candle that smells so good. Like I can smell it through the packaging, it smells so good. This is Baker's Gingerbread, and it smells amazing. Oh, it is so rich, and it just smells so, so good, and I cannot wait to burn this. And I love that it's in like a full-size mason jar with like measuring things on it, so you could use it as like a measuring cup after. And then last, from my very best friend, Heather, I got a Starbucks gift card because she knows me, I have an addiction, and I just can't help it. I am at Starbucks pretty much all the time and apparently the rest of my family knows that too because I got another one. <laughs> so I'm set for Starbucks for at least a week. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> so the next gift that I want to share is something that I was like so surprised to receive. I did not think that I would be getting this at all. This is from my mom and her husband and this is a new camera. I'm so excited. Being a blogger, I love cameras, I love playing with different cameras, I take a lot of photos, and so this was really exciting for me because this is a new kind of camera for me to play with. This is the Nikon D40, and a, they also got me the 18-55 to lens, and I cannot wait to play with this. This is not a filming camera, this is specifically for shooting pictures. 
but I am so excited to kind of play around with this and see what kind of photos I can create and hopefully I'll have some new fun techniques to share on my blog. And so that is everything that I received from my mom, my stepdad, and my best friend. And now we're going to move on to my boyfriend who always does incredibly and spoils me beyond belief and I can never be more grateful for him because he is so generous and so loving. And the first thing that he got me is this pair of over the knee suede boots. And I love them. It's from uh, Le Chateau and they are just over the knee and they're suede and they have just like a teeny tiny kind of boot heel and they're stretchy and super comfortable. And now on to the most exciting part in my opinion, the makeup. <laughs> I think if anybody knows me, they know that the way to my heart is through some makeup. The first thing is this Glitter Happy brush set from Sephora. This is their Pro brushes, and there are six of them, and they come in this really beautiful kind of rose goldy copper with the glitter base, which is so, so pretty, and I love these. I got three different eyeshadow palettes that are so different that I'm so excited because none of them are very similar so there's lots of fun colors and lots of different finishes and fun things. The first one is the Kat Von D Mavita Loca palette which I did not think I was going to receive. I did not think this was available anymore. I was totally convinced it was sold out absolutely everywhere but my boyfriend found it and I'm so so happy. It is so gorgeous. I'm sure you've all seen it before but looks like that so pretty and I've swatched a few of the colors and the formula is amazing so I can't wait to play with this and really create a few fun looks. The next palette that I got is the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom palette and this is the most stunning packaging ever. I'm absolutely in love with it. I just want to keep it out and stare at it. <laughs> but inside you have the most beautiful kind of warm tone shimmery reddy brown colors which is right up my alley and I can't wait to play with this. And the last eyeshadow palette that I received was the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette which is so so exciting. I wanted this so badly. I've played with it in store a million times. I've just gone in and swatched it and I'm so excited to have this in my life. I love that it's a bunch of different neutrals and different finishes. It's a really wearable palette, so it's something that you're gonna get a lot of use out of, but then it also has all the fun colors. And he knows me so well that he also got me a Z palette so that I can organize the rest of my single shadows, which have just been sitting in a <laughs> drawer for months because I have not gotten one of these and I really needed to. So, so I'm excited to finally have one of these and be able to organize the rest of my single eyeshadows. The last kind of like eye product that I got was the Tarte Tartist Liner, which I am so excited to try. I've heard so many amazing things about this that it's like really easy to use and also really pigmented. Oh, no. oh I have a cat in my lap. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited about this and I love that it comes with a little baby brush. So that's awesome because Tarte makes amazing brushes. So I also got a few more things from Urban Decay. I got three of their Afterglow blushes, which I am so excited about. I've been wanting to try these for so long. So I got the shade Fetish, Bang, and Quickie. And Fetish is like a rosy neutral. I'm actually wearing it. Bang is like an orangey red, which is crazy. And Quickie is like a hot pink. I got one thing from NARS and that is their contour blush palette in the shade Olympia. This is just a gorgeous like little contour duo that's really great for fair skin. It has like the nice fair toned contour color and then a yellow highlighting color. And speaking of contouring, I also got the Marc Jacobs Hashtag Instamark Light Filtering Contour Powder in the shade Mirage Filter. And this comes in this gorgeous gigantic compact and then inside Again, it's a contour duo with a powder and a highlighting powder, and I'm so excited to try this. I've heard so many good things. Also from Marc Jacobs, I got the Shameless Bold Blush in the shade Reckless. And this comes in such a cute little like fabric pouch, just like the eyeshadow palettes from Marc Jacobs. 
and inside you get a little blush brush and the blush itself which is a beautiful like dusty rose mauve so pretty I'm so excited for this and last but not least I got the Becca Plump and Define Lip Pencil in the shade Nougat. This is a double-ended lip pencil that's meant to highlight and contour the shape of your lips. And I have very small lips, so I'm kind of excited to see what I can create by overlining. And there is a highlighting side and a contouring side. So I'm really excited to play with this. And that is everything that I was lucky enough to receive for this Christmas. And I am feeling so blessed and so thankful. And I really hope that all of you had an amazing Christmas as well. And you spent it with your family. And you had some fantastic quality time because that's really what Christmas is about. Now I am off to have dinner with my family. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.